our first worship night of 2020 and we're just so excited because of where we're at up here tonight we believe that god's just gonna pour out his spirit and we're just gonna enter into something that is so deep something full of authority a place of boldness a place where we know who we are so Jesus, tonight we proclaim and we just praise you, God. We praise you and that's all we want to do tonight is we come in, God, with a heart of praise. We come in, God, with a heart of expectancy. God, we don't want to leave this place the same. But God, let us leave transformed. Let us leave, God, with our heart set on you. Let us leave, God, fully, completely surrendered to you. Because, God, we know that you're here. We know that you're in the midst in this place. And we know that, God, you're going to rain down your spirit. We know that you're going to pour out your love. You're going to pour out your holy fire, God, in this place. And we believe that, God, we grab a hold of the promise tonight. In Jesus' name, and everyone said amen and amen. It's the power of the shadows, it's the power of the air. Break into the wild and don't be afraid. We run into our help and take this, and break this Dance like the way has been dead. With the Spirit of the Lord, there is freedom, there is freedom. With the Spirit of the Lord, there is freedom, there is freedom. Come out of the dark and just as you are, into the morning of the love. And for the
shout of praise tonight because where his spirit is there is freedom there is liberty hallelujah come on I don't know about you but a river of goodness a fountain that is going to drown out all your sorrows I don't know tonight what might be heavy on you tonight but you can come to this river. Come on, we're not here to entertain you tonight. We're here to be in the presence of God. Set all the captives free 
can spring up a well, spring up a well, spring up a well in me. And nothing can stop this storm. No one dancing in the street. And spring up a well, spring up a well, spring up a well in me. Oh, we come alive in the rain. of his goodness is where I want to flow. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, Lord. Burst forth, God, something amazing in this place tonight, God. Yes. The 
Yes, you are who you say you are, Father. So that's why we come to celebrate you tonight. To celebrate the name of Jesus. Come on, he's the name above all names. Come on, if it wasn't for him, you wouldn't be here tonight. Tell him I'm the one, Father, that will celebrate you, God. No matter what,
to be the one, be the one that God sees on your knees worshiping, hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. How's everybody doing tonight? Amen. Good to be in the house of God. And I know that tonight we're having our praise and worship night, but we also want to just go ahead and give you just quick announcements and just uh, go ahead and receive tonight's tithes and offerings. I'm going to be very quick because I want to get right back into it, and we allow you to just worship. You can just put the lights back off. You can just turn them back off. I'm going to be very, very quick as far as uh, uh, the announcements. Amen. Real quick, the, the only announcement we want to just share with you is that uh, Bible studies are resuming again. If uh, you are not connected in a Bible study, please see one of our Bible study leaders, uh, team leaders. Uh, they are, they're all around here, and we encourage you to get connected right away. Amen. We have several different locations, so please see them right after service. Get plugged in. Amen. Uh, also, this Sunday, we are having our Sunday service, 10 a.m., 9 o'clock prayer. Amen. Be a part of it. I encourage you. Invite, invite, invite. Amen. And so, uh, other than that, coming back, well, don't forget, next week is our, our annual conference, uh, Friday through Sunday. Amen. And also, Monday will be Women's Discipleship. So, Make sure that you, uh, they, we do have calendars. We are passing them out. If you need to know more about our church, uh, what's going on throughout the month, please see. Uh, they'll be handing the calendars after service. Other than that, we're going to go ahead and receive tithes and offerings. If you need an envelope, just raise your hand, and one of our, our ushers or greeters will hand one to you. Amen. There's three ways of giving that you can give, and one of them is through our uh text to give which is the number 714-710-1981 that's an easy way to text 
and give your tithes and offerings. Also, you can call the number, which is 562-298-7146, preferably that you call that number after service. Amen. And you could also just go to our website and you can give that way as well. Amen. We want to just go ahead and give. So at this time, we could just, uh, the usher, you can just start announcing um, how the people come up as I pray for the offering. Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight. We love you. Father, we give, God, Lord, uh, not out of reluctantly, but we give because we, Lord, we know that we have so much to be grateful and thankful for because you are our provider, God. And God, we know that, Lord, that you have been good to us. You have been faithful. And God, you continue to bless us, God. So, Father, we just want to give what is yours, God. And Lord, I thank you again. We pray continue to bless your children, your people, God, abundantly, Father. We pray for job promotions, raises, God. We pray continue to meet the needs of your people so that they can testify of your goodness. Lord, we love you. We thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, everyone shouts and says amen and amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to get right back into it. Amen. So let's all stand. Amen. And we want to encourage you just to, you know, come to the altar if you want to just come and worship God. But we're just going to just continue to just be in the presence of God. Amen. You know, I was standing up here worshiping and I think in the prayer room, I felt like some of you, you know, you're wondering, why am I still in the same place that I was in in 2020? You know, it's a new year, it's a new time, it's a new day. But I'm talking to those who are wondering, why am I still in this same place? I desire to move forward, but why is there such resistance? Can I tell you tonight that only you can stop you from moving forward tonight? You know, sometimes you've got to do what you've never done to get what you've never had. Some of you, you've been sitting in the back way too long. It's time to move up to the front. Some of you, you've never come to the altar for worship. Maybe it's time that you come to the altar, altar to worship tonight. Sometimes you got to do something different than what you've done in the past. Maybe you got to get yourself into the prayer room, the war room. Maybe you got to come a little bit early. Maybe you got to dig into your word just a little bit longer. Maybe you got to worship God with no distractions, not worrying about what people think about you, what you sound like. I'm coming to worship my God, so I'm not going to let nobody interfere with my worship with my King. If you're still stuck in the rut tonight, you've got to do something you've never done before. It's time to get desperate, church. It's time to get desperate. Who am I talking to tonight? You're wondering why. Come on, you're wondering why I still look the same. Can I tell you, maybe it's time to stretch a little bit. And you know what? The stretching hurts, let me tell you. Let me be real. Because God reveals the dirt. When we go a little bit deeper, God starts to reveal what's really going on in our heart of hearts. And sometimes that hurts. But can I tell you it's for the good? He's exposing things for our good tonight. Because we can't go there with God, go higher, when we're still holding on to what was down here. It's time to let go and it's time to let God. I don't know who's with me tonight, but I'm telling you, this is a move. This is a revival. Revival starts when your heart becomes pure. It becomes right. When you stop worrying about what people think. You know, people tend to criticize what's going on up here. They're still looking at the worship team. But can I tell you, these people stepped up because they weren't afraid. Oh, it may not be perfect. Come on, he's still working. He's still teaching them. He's still moving in their lives. But let me tell you something. They rose up to the challenge. And because of that, God is going to bless you guys. God is going to bless you guys tonight. Because you have rose up to the challenge. And you're not afraid to go there. Don't sit back in your seat tonight, church. It's time to rise up to the challenge and go there with God. Hallelujah. I remember years ago when I came to this church and 
about is getting familiar with worship. And this song right here hit me so hard and so deep because I was feeling something so deep inside of my heart, but I couldn't explain it. And when I began to hear this song, these words, it touched me. And I remember I was on vacation with family, and I just began to weep because this these were the words it's like this is what I was feeling this is what he was doing and tonight as we worship God doesn't matter where we're at right now let's just listen to him hear from him whatever season we're in let's just pull from what he's speaking tonight there's nothing worth more that could ever come close Nothing can compare your living heart. Your presence is Lord. I've tasted and seen. Of the sweetest of loves, where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone. Your presence, Lord. Your glory, 
struggled to even be here tonight, God, but you knew that they would be, God. So let them not take this moment for granted. Let them not, God, come. Let them come and lay at your feet right now, Jesus. Come on, tell him. In no place I'd rather be. In no place I'd rather be. In no place I'd rather be than here in your own, here in your own. No place I'd rather be. In no place I'd rather be. There's no place I'd rather be than here in your own, here in your own. 
so set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control, and I want more of you, God, and I want more of you, God, so set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control, and I want more of you. I want more of you, God. Come on, if we're real with God tonight, there are some things that he needs to burn up. There's some things that you need to lay at this altar and let him burn it up tonight. No place I'd rather be. And no place I'd rather be. There's no place I'd rather be than hearing your love, hearing your love. No place I'd rather be than no place I'd rather be. Come on, here. No place I'd rather be than hearing your love, hearing your love. So set a fire down in my soul. That I can't control
God, he's gracious and he'll pour it out. surrender. Come on, we say it all the time, but it is. It's where the fire comes from when you surrender, when you can be tried by fire and purified. You come out on fire for God like never before because he showed up. He showed up in your fiery furnace. Come on, and you don't come out smelling like smoke at all. You don't come out smelling like what you've been through. So sing it one more time. And set the fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. Because I want more of you, God. And I want more of you, God. So sing it.
of your presence. We are lovers of your presence. And it's all I want to be. We are lovers of your presence. This time we're going to have an altar call. Amen. And, you know, we just want to give an invitation to whoever has never received Jesus in their life, in their heart. Maybe tonight you're here and you were invited by someone or you've been here several times, but you've never really accepted Jesus into your heart. And tonight we want to give you that invitation, that opportunity to accept Jesus into your heart, into your life. And so if you're here tonight and you've never accepted Jesus, and you say, I, I want to give my life to Jesus. I want to accept Jesus into my heart. You know about him. You, you, you were taught growing up by your parents or, you know, whoever, you, you were, whoever raised you about Jesus and God, but you've never known him in a personal level. I'm talking about knowing him where you pray and, and you read your word and, and God speaks to you in different forms whether it's prayer or in your devotion your time with God but you know tonight is that opportunity where you can accept Jesus and I'm telling you it'll be the best decision you could ever make so whether you're a teenager or an adult it don't matter what age you are but today you have the opportunity to do that so if that's you and you say you know what that's me I want to give my life to Jesus I want to start this year 2021 in the right way in the, go in the right direction and by doing so, I want to give my life to Jesus. Is there anyone here that would be honest and say, I want to give my life to Jesus? Just raise your hand if there's anyone here that would say, that's me. Or maybe you backslidden in your heart and you want to rededicate your life to the Lord. You want to just rededicate yourself. Just raise your hand and say, that's me. I want to accept Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Martha, if you can just pray, amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, what we want to do now is we want to just, if you need prayer, you want prayer, we want to encourage you just to get out of your seat. And you can come up here. If you don't want prayer, you can just sit back, you know, go back to your seat. But we want to give an opportunity for those that want to get prayed for to come to the altar and our team leaders will pray with you. Amen. If you don't need prayer, you don't want prayer. Amen. You could just go back to your seat. And we're going to allow those who do want prayer to come up. Amen. If you just need any any kind of prayer, our team leaders will pray with you and come in agreement with you. Amen. And we're going to just close off with this one last song as our team leaders will pray with you and come in agreement with you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. House Church OC, Year of the Shout Conference. We are counting down the days for our annual conference that will be taking place January 15th through January 17th, 2021. Services will be held Friday, 7 p.m., Saturday, 10 a.m., Saturday, 6 p.m., and Sunday at 10 a.m. Doors will open one hour prior before every service for prayer. We are so excited and anticipated that this will be your weekend you find your shout in God. We want to go ahead and extend an invitation that you invite your family and friends. We cannot wait to see you there and see what the Lord has in store.